everybody. So my daughter Samantha, who is wicked awesome, got this cool box full of Pokemon cards at a little shop in Massachusetts. It was 20 bucks and it came fully loaded with really awesome cards and I can't wait to share them with you all. My daughter knows me really, really well and she knows I've been feeling down lately. She knew exactly what would bring my spirits up. So let's check these out. As you can see, it is stacked. There's some cool stuff in here, and I'm pretty amped about it. I didn't realize, but underneath, there was some extra goodies that you'll see at the end. So let's see what we've got. These dice. Oh, that's great. That's going to make playing so much easier. Check this out. It's like all of the cool stuff that you would want. You know what I mean? Like... I can't explain it, but I feel like I have all of Alola in my hands right now, which is absolutely wicked. These trainer cards are totally going to help me out in some of the battles that I have been endeavoring lately. So let's see what it... Oh, okay. Tormenting Spray. Rotom! I am a huge Rotom fan. I can't pronounce names for the life of me. Is that Sophocles? I love him, though. He's awesome. He has a really good attitude, too. That escape rope, ooh, I use those all the time. I can't stand caves in these games. How about you guys? The Zubats, they drive me crazy. It's like you try to take a step, then you're in a fight. You try to take a step, you're in another fight. There is absolutely nothing you could do in these games. You absolutely need the escape rope. So I thought that the lineup of cards that they gave me was really cool because they basically made sure that I was covered for the um, evolution chains of certain Pokemon, which was neat, because as you see the Porygons, um, there's Persian, there was Meowth coming up, you know, so there was a lot of good stuff in here really, really quick. I opened it up and, like, jaw dropped. I was very impressed. I think that um, my most favorite part of this is that they really tried to make sure that you had the Pokemon that were um, native to Sun and Moon, which was really cool because I really um, enjoyed the Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon uh, storylines. I actually preferred the Sun and Moon storyline, but it was so depressing I was kind of glad they changed it when they moved over to Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I don't know how you guys feel about it. Maybe let me know down below what you think. Wobbuffet is awesome. We're not going to go there, but I love me my Wobbuffet. Who is this? Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, Jangamo, Hakamo. As you can see also, they were in some type of order when they sorted these out for me because it's going by type. It's definitely been like you know, organized pretty darn good. So I have to do my best to make sure I put all of these away darn close to how I got them. Otherwise, it's going to be a pain in the butt to figure out what's what. They gave me a lot of duplicates of each card, which, Diancy, which is <laughs> pretty cool. Um, because sometimes you'll have uh, different evolutionary chains that you could follow for certain Pokemon. So it's nice to, uh, to have the extras. Um, on top of that, though, I do have five children, so if any of my kids say, Oh, Mom, that's a cool Pokemon, it now gives me the ability to share, which I absolutely love. That um, feeds me into the whole, you teach me, I teach you, you know? So let's, let's share and do good together, you know? I'd love for my kids to be uh, battling me one day, you know? My older two do battle me, and it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of back and forth of who wins, and I love it, you know? It's definitely... A challenge they don't make it easy for me <clears throat> which is so awesome so as you could tell like if you look there there's definitely three to four of each card on here but they're absolutely awesome I am a really really big fan of Pikachu if you know me well you'll know I have a Pikachu onesie the headband the hoodie the dress I am a huge Pikachu fan I, I love the names of those other ones, Panpour, Semipour, you know, it's just kind of funny to me. But here we're approaching all my little uh, water friends. Uh, Meryl is pretty awesome. I have a level 100 Azumarill that's shiny in my Sun and Moon game, and I call him my wall. It's definitely my wall, because you cannot break through that wall. He's not a good fighter, but he's a really good defender. Lunatone, Skull Rock, oh, these are awesome. These are all really going to help me out so much. You have no idea. 
So I'm gonna battle my little sister maybe next time I see her. Cause she'll be like, what? Now, heat more? Ironically, I had honestly never seen that Pokemon. I literally had to look it up. I wasn't even sure who he was. It felt bad. Electivire was one I've needed for a long time. These are the ones I love to laugh at because Pansier. Are we Pansiering like something, you know? I think it's hilarious. Uh, Togedemaru is one of my favorites. Again, sorry if I'm pronouncing the names wrong. I'm absolutely terrible. But it's definitely one of my favorites because he's electric and adorable. Uh, he's quite like Pikachu in that sense, you know, because they're awesome. I love Magearna. I made a video of um, Magearna and Volcanion, but YouTube wasn't able to keep it up because of uh, ShowPro. ShowPro decided that they were going to ban the video worldwide, and I actually sat there. Yeah, Steelix EX? What? Galley DX? Uh, they they blocked it worldwide, and I edited a nine-minute video down to about 30 seconds, and they still blocked it worldwide, so I don't know. You know, it really stinks. It was a really great video. All right, so let's just talk about this 100% form Zygarde. I absolutely love this Zygarde. This is my favorite, favorite Pokemon, period. Just because of how cool he is and how sweet his demeanor is. Uh, Snorlax has always been my favorite Pokemon, so having this is absolutely awesome. I think Pulverizing Pancake is hilarious to have as a move. But yeah, so this is what my awesome daughter gave me. These are my favorites. How awesome is this, guys? She's a total rock star. These are awesome. A lot of them are holographic. I mean, to me, this is a lot, you know, guys? I, I don't have <clears throat> a never-ending supply of cards. So I was a little excited when I saw a bunch of these. If I ever wanted to show y'all my whole collection, I would literally need like a small gymnasium to set my cards up because that's how many cards we have in the house. Um, they came with some of these cool little wraps for the cards so you can keep them in there, keep them safe. And this was a cool surprise. Not only was there dice, but there was the extra tokens and they're all laminated beautifully. So I was really amped. I love my daughter so much. She really knew how to cheer me up. Thank you so much, Samantha. You rock. And if you don't already know, go hop on down, like this video, and become a subscriber if you're not. Thanks for watching.